out at your boy Big Chips. Listen, I have a not really problem, but something that someone else is having. They were talking about what do you do with objections in your business. Uh, I can't really give you a per se coaching, training, anything on on objections on your product, but I can tell you a general blanket rule on all sales, no matter what it is, and that would be number one, figure out what the objection is. You know, don't really, I mean, you, you want to listen to them, but you don't want to hear it out because the first objection that they're going to give you is usually a very blanketed thing. It doesn't really mean anything. It's not real. It's not their true feelings. Everybody is scared of sales, so they tend to push out fast. So they say the first thing that comes to mind, and nine times out of ten, that's usually going to be something about uh, money. Uh, it's cost too much, or uh, I don't know, blah, blah, blah. So the first thing to do in an objection, number one, is don't even listen to it. You uh, over talk them, keep talking, get them to continue on. If they give you the objection again, you know, try to feed it back to them, especially when it's about cost. When they say it costs too much, simply look at them and say it costs too much. And you can do this in typing too. And then just shut up. Shut up. <laughs> you know, that's the key. You know, once you get that out there, just shut up. Don't say another word. Feed it back to them. They will either A, tell you the real reason behind what that objection is, or they will talk themselves out of that information. So once you get what the real objection is, what, what is really going on, then you can handle it. But the best thing to do is to use those objections. You know, so here's, here's a little bit of feedback for you. Before you start a sales process, before you try to sell somebody, know your product. Know what you're selling. Know what the worst case scenarios are. If you've got a high price point, don't make an, an objection. Make it a want. You know, make it an, something good. Turn it into something positive. You know, I understand this costs too much, but really, if you think about all the things that you've lost along the way where this product can help you, don't you think you've actually lost more money along those standards? So, I mean, it all comes down to put your mind where their mind is. So, when you start your process of talking and they really want to know the details, Feed them the objections first. Feed them all the negative things about your business that you've heard from other people and squash it before it even happens. You know, that way the objections, you know, they, they start to come out, but they become more real so that you know what their real objection is, all right? So now you know what the real objection is. I know I'm all over the place here, but I'm, I'm driving, so... My thoughts are just scattered trying to answer this for somebody while I'm trying to feed it to you as well. So you've got the you've got the objection. All right. Now here is the good part because now you should be happy because they're giving you a reason to sell them the product. They tell you what the problem is. Now you need to figure out how to make that objection something that they need. How to heal the pain. They're telling you what the hurt is. They're telling you what their pain is. Now, how is your product going to solve that problem? You know, if you become a problem solver, a life changer, your business will become that which you are speaking. You know, nine times out of ten, most marketers, and you can see it online, they're only about the dollar. Some people can make it. But that's, that's, that's the route to failure. You understand what I'm saying? Because more people will quit when you make it about the money than if you make it about the product and you change a life. All right? So we'll talk more about this. I just wanted to get that point across because I felt it vital. Uh, number one, I'm driving, so I can't text back the answer or anything like that. But, uh, you know, it's, it's good information. It's something you... Uh, my team and I were discussing last night on a team hangout 
and then it just so happened it came up today about another program and you know it's hard to tell someone how to close their product but I figure giving you a general consensus of what in generality this is what you would do would help so hope you got some value uh, go ahead and comment like and subscribe you can go ahead and click uh, click the link below or just go to www.joinjeremyneal.com get on our team and let us show you how we're changing lives and how we have created multiple hundred dollar earners and multiple six hundred dollar earners all within a period of four weeks so it's a beautiful thing all right but it's your boy big chips businesschips.com i'll see each and every one of you very very soon make it a great day i dare you